the flush drop mess. That's kind of relevant here. I mean, I think I just want Frankenberger to go all in. Unless that's that much of an overbat, which I guess well, is... Well, you can't really overbat in this game. Oh, how about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might actually have too, too many chips to... You might not be able to go all in, but he can certainly make a pot size bet, which would be huge. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see him pot this on the river. Yeah, I just bet I'd love to see him make a huge bet. Obviously, was at one point aware we're playing pot with the hold him. Well, poker is all about adapting, right? And adapting to different situations. And obviously, we've all picked up on the pattern that he doesn't fire that last barrel when he's bluffing. But what if he could turn it around here and do it? That, that's why the move would have so much strength. Uh, and he checks it. Check. Wow. He checks. Yeah, I mean, it's possible Ivy doesn't have a hand here, even though generally I would always expect him to have. That would be so useful. sick. That would be so sick well, if Ivy floated the check raise to bet here and then yeah. showed a bluff. Well, I mean, club, well, clubs miss, um, jack nines a draw, but almost always Ivy just has has some type of made hand. Yeah, yeah I almost half expected Ivy to instantly check back. This is a really river. cool hand. This is a really, really cool hand. Yeah, Ivy's always very deliberate, so... I mean, I'd expect him to always value bet, like, two pair or better here, so... Yeah, he could very reasonably have a queen ten. Knight checks it back. Is that King high? Wow. King high and wow. Ivy can't beat it. Ivy must have had a busted club draw, right? Yeah, or Jack Nine. That's wow. crazy. And you could see you, you actually I actually saw a bit of emotion in Ivy he was uh oh. he was not pleased. Well I mean, it's just crazy when Frankenberger's exhibited the pattern. Yeah, you have to. You have to bet there. Yeah, I mean, Frankenberger just isn't rep.